Thanks for tuning in to see my 10 essential home remedies for dogs to have at home. Now this is our puppy Thor um, and these are home remedies that I have on hand for him. Um, just a six month old puppy. I have on hand for a chocolate lab Sadie here up front and we have a beagle mix Molly. Molly and Sadie are both adults uh, but these Home remedies are for all ages of dogs. They are safe, everything's natural, um, and best of all, effective. So uh, the first thing that I have is uh, brewer's yeast for fleas. Um, this is a common natural remedy. It keeps the fleas off your dog. It won't treat them if your dog already has an infestation, but um, brewer's yeast is a great way to keep them off. So one teaspoon on our food per day, or a quarter of a cup, in one quart of water um, and then you put it in a spray bottle mix it all up and use it as a topical spray i would spray it on your dog every two or three days uh, brewer's yeast has a very distinct smell so um, you'll notice when that smell is wearing off the other thing you can use is essential oils um, rose geranium oil i put about five drops around their collar um, and that is good for ticks to keep ticks away, um, about five drops. And again, every three to five days, you'll notice the smell wearing off, um, you know, when it's time to put some more on. Uh, lavender and uh, calendula oil can also help with anxiety. Um, to use those, you could put a couple of dots on your dog, but um, the best thing to do is use a diffuser and diffuse those in the room where your dog rests most of the time and those can help to reduce anxiety naturally. So if you have a dog that has some separation anxiety issues um, or you just have a dog say that has some noise aversion, if you know there's a day where there's gonna be thunderstorms, you can put those on in the diffuser in the afternoon to help your pet deal with that. Um, tea is another great natural uh, home remedy to have on hand, uh, chamomile tea. You can make a, a spray for itchy skin. So what you would do is just steep the tea, um, obviously in hot water, but then you'll wait for the water to cool. Put that uh, just black chamomile tea in a spray bottle and you can use that for itchy skin. Spray it all over your dog and then just kind of work it in and massage it into their uh, skin and coat. And that is a great natural way to fix uh, itchy skin. Also, while we're talking about itchy skin, this is vitamin E, you can pick it up most big box stores carry it. Any pharmacy, any natural living store, anything like that will have vitamin E oil. Um, and you can apply it to sore spots on the skin. It's an antioxidant that helps defend against free radicals in the skin. It's also good for your dog's immune system. Um, it is good for heart health, liver, um, of course, as well as skin and coat, muscles, things like that. Vitamin E is uh, a really uh, kind of a super vitamin for dogs. So. I always keep that on hand and it's very easy to find, very inexpensive. Um, one thing I did forget to mention for the tea, tea can also be used for uh, eye infections and irritation. So you would, again, steep the tea and then either um, using a cotton ball with, the, you can dip it in the tea and put that on your dog's eye or just the damp uh, tea bag after you've soaked it, you can kind of place it on your dog's eye and just hold it there for a few minutes at a time. Uh, and it can help with eye irritation and especially with eye infections. So um, I did skip that about tea, but I wanted to add that in there. Plain Greek yogurt, that's another um, a really great thing to have on hand at all times to keep in your house. Um, you wanna make sure it's plain, not flavored, no sugar added, um, and that really helps with healthy digestion. Make sure you get it xylitol free as long as there's no sugars in it. Xylitol is an artificial sugar that can be toxic to dogs and some brands of yogurt do include it. So. Um, make sure it has no xylitol. You can put a tablespoon on every meal for your dog in the morning and the evening, and it just helps. It's full of natural probiotics and really helps um, with a healthy digestion and gut health. Uh, cranberry, this is a great thing to have on hand. You can find these um, cranberry supplements for urinary tract health. They're the same kind they sell for people. You can also buy just straight cranberry extract. Um, and both of those or either of those are great to have on hand for any urinary problems. If you find that your dog has uh, a UTI or, you know, seems to be having trouble urinating, um, those are good things to have on hand. 
Pumpkin is great for um, diarrhea and constipation. It can help uh, with digestion and help uh, soften the stool so that your dog can pass it or um, to firm it up a little bit. Pumpkin is really kind of a, a go-to and an all-inclusive when it comes to stool issues. So um, that's great to have on hand. Peroxide, you can use that uh, to induce vomiting if your dog eats something that he shouldn't. You dose about one teaspoon for every five pounds of body weight. Um, and then just don't go over a quarter of a cup. A quarter of a cup should be enough for any dog, uh, no matter how large they are. So uh, I always keep peroxide on hand in our first aid kit, but it's also a handy thing to have in your canine first aid kit. Uh, if you guys have any other questions about home remedies, I did bring out coconut oil. I didn't include it in my top 10, um, but this is something that I always have coconut oil on hand because it's a super food for dogs. It's great to use for uh, on cats with skin issues. Um, it's uh, amazing for people as well, for rashes and things like that. It's naturally antibiotic, antimicrobial, antifungal. Um, so it, as my bonus number 11, I would put coconut oil on there as as well. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to email me. Thanks for watching this video guide.